Thank you for watching. <clears throat> Let's find out what the Quran actually says. Not what I'm remembering it saying when I read it last. Not that I would ever lie about something like that. But, I'm human. If I ever try to quote something, maybe I'll remember something wrong. <clears throat> Alif Lam Ra. Let's see. Uh, these letters are one of the miracles of the Quran, and none but Allah knows their meanings. These are the verses of the clear book. Verily, we have sent it down as an Arabic Quran in order that you may understand. We relate unto you the best stories through our revelations unto you of this Quran. And before this, you were among those who knew nothing about it. <clears throat> Let's see. Aller. Footnote, a word containing three Arabic letters without meaning. These are verses of the clear book. Surely we have sent it down an Arabic Quran. Perhaps you might understand. We narrate to you the best of the stories by which we reveal to you this Quran. And before it you were among the unaware. When Yusuf said to his father, O oh my father, verily I saw eleven stars and the sun and the moon. I saw them prostrating themselves to me. He said, O oh my son, relate not your vision to your brothers, lest they should arrange a plot against you. Verily, Shaitan is to man an open enemy. Thus will your Lord choose you and teach you the interpretation of dreams and perfect his favor on you and on the offspring of Yaqub, as he perfected it on your fathers, Ibrahim and Ishak, aforetime, verily your Lord is all-knowing, all-wise. Verily, in Yusuf and his brethren were the for those who ask. When they said truly, Yusuf and his brother are dearer to our father than we, while we are a strong group, Really, our father is in plain error. Kill Yusuf, or cast him out to some land, so that the favor of your father may be given to you alone, and after that you will be righteous folk. One from among them said, Kill not Yusuf, but if you must do something, throw him down to the bottom of a well. He will be picked up by some caravan of travelers. They said, O oh, our father, why do you not trust us with Yusuf, though we are indeed his well-wishers? Send him with us tomorrow to enjoy himself and play, and verily we will take care of him. He said, Truly it saddens me that you should take him away. I fear lest a wolf should devour him while you are careless of him. They said, If a wolf devours him while we are a strong group, then surely we are the losers. So when they took him away, and they all agreed to throw him down to the bottom of the well, and we revealed to him, Indeed, you shall inform them of this their affair when they know not. <clears throat> 4. When Joseph said to his father, O oh, my father, Surely I saw eleven stars, and the sun, and the moon. I saw them worshipping me. He said, O oh my son, do not relate your dream to your brothers. So they plot a plot against you. Surely Satan is an obvious enemy to the human. And likewise your Lord will choose you, and will teach you the interpretation of the sayings, and will fulfill his grace on you, and on the family of Jacob, as he fulfilled it before on your fathers, Abraham and Isaac. Surely your Lord is knowing wise. Indeed, it was in Joseph and his brothers signs for the inquirers. When they said, Surely Joseph and his brother are moving, see, are more loved by our father than us, 
and we are a large group. Surely our father is in obvious error. Kill Joseph, or throw him in a land, into a land, and to you your father's face will be set after this. You will become a good people. A speaker among them said, Do not kill Joseph and cast him down to the bottom of the Job. Footnote B. Well, non-Arabic word of Aramaic origin. Some travelers will pick him up if you were doing. They said, O oh, our father, why do you not trust us with Joseph? And surely we will be advisors to him. Send him with us tomorrow so that he may enjoy and play, and surely we will be keepers to him. He said, Surely it will grieve me if you take him, and I fear that the wolf will eat him while you are not watching him. They said, If the wolf eats him, and we are many, surely then we are losers. So when they had gone with him, and they agreed to place him at the bottom of the well, and we revealed to him, You will inform them of this, their affair. And they did not feel. <sighs> okay. You can watch my other video series, Differences Between the Stories in the Quran and the Bible that are the same story, but have differences. We've got some here. Um, so here it looks like Satan was tempting them, but it doesn't specifically say who said the idea to them. <coughs> in verse 2, we found out why... The one translation I have makes a point of showing us when there is a non-Arabic word. Because one of the things the Quran says about itself is it's Arabic. And that's supposed to be some kind of a proof of something? Uh, I think I might be able to fit this all into one episode. Let's get back to the reading. Alright, 16. And they came to their father in the early part of the night weeping. They said, O oh, our father, we went racing with one another, and we left Yusuf by our belongings, and the wolf devoured him. But you will never believe us when we speak the truth. And they brought his shirt stained with false blood. He said, Nay. But your own selves have made up a tale, so patience is most fitting. And it is Allah alone whose help can be sought against that which you describe. And they came at evening to their father weeping. They said, O oh, our father, surely we went away racing, and we left Joseph with our goods. So the wolf ate him, and you will not believe us even if we were truthful. And they put on his kamis, a short non-Arabic word, Greek slash Syriac origin, with a lie, let's see, with a lie blood. He said, yet your soul lightens the affair, so patience is beautiful, and Allah is the one who has asked for assistance about what you describe. Nineteen, And there came a caravan of travelers, and they sent their water drawer, and he let down his bucket. He said, What good news, here is a boy. So they hid him as merchandise, and Allah was the all-knower of what they did. And they sold him for a low price, for a few dirhams, and they were of those who regarded him insignificant. And he, from Egypt, who bought him, said to his wife, Make his stay comfortable. Maybe he will profit us, or we shall adopt him as a son. Thus did we establish Yusuf in the land. Uh, let's see. That we might teach him the interpretation of events. And Allah has full power and control over his affairs. But most of men know not. And when he attained his full manhood, we gave him wisdom and knowledge. Thus, we reward the
19, and a traveler came here, uh, came there. And so they sent a drawer of water, so he let down his bucket. He said, good news, here is a young man, and they hid him merchandise. And Allah knew in what they were doing. And they bought him for a lesser price of a numbered dirham. See. Coin, non-Arabic word of Greek origin. And they were not interested in him. And he who bought him in Egypt said to his wife, his woman, sorry, treat him generously, perhaps he may be useful to us, or maybe we can take him a son. And likewise, we did settle Joseph in the land, and we will teach him the interpretation of the sayings. And Allah has victory over his affair, but most people do not know. And when he had reached his age of strength, we gave him judgment and knowledge, and likewise, we reward the doers of good. Twenty-three, and she, in whose house he was sought, to seduce him. And she closed the doors and said, Come on, O oh you. He said, I seek refuge in Allah. Truly he is my master. He made my living in a great comfort. Verily, the will never be successful. And indeed, she did desire him, and he would, not, he, he would have inclined to her desire, had he not seen the evidence of his Lord, thus it was that we might turn away from turn away from him evil and illegal sexual intercourse. Surely he was one of our chosen slaves. So they raced with one another to the door, and she tore his shirt from his back. They both found their Lord at the door. She said, what is the recompense for him who intended an evil design against your wife, except he be put in prison or a painful torment? He said, It was she that sought to seduce me, and a witness of her household bore witness, saying, If it be that his shirt is torn from the front, then her tale is true, and he is a liar. But if it be that his shirt is torn from the back, then she has told a lie, and he is speaking the truth. So when he saw his shirt torn at the back, he said, Surely it is a plot of you, woman. Certainly mighty is your plot. O Yusuf, turn away from this. Ask forgiveness for your sin. Verily, you were of the sinful. Uh, and a woman in a city said, The wife of Al-Aziz is seeking to is seeking to seduce her young man. Indeed, she loves him violently. Verily, we see her in plain error. So, oh, 29, I should have stopped at 29. 23, the one whom he stayed with in her house sought to seduce him. And she closed the doors. And she said, I am prepared for you. He said, Allah's refuge, surely he is my Lord who treats me good. Surely the unjust will not prosper. And indeed, she moved to him, and he moved to her. Um, were it not that he saw the Lord's proof, um, likewise, we averted him from committing the evil and indecency. Surely he is of our sincere servants. And they ran for the door, and she tore his shirt. And at the door they met her master. She said, What is the penalty for one who would desire to do evil to your people, except to be put into, put in prison or a painful torment? And a witness from her family testified, If the shirt was torn in the front, so she is truthful, and he is of the liars. And if his shirt was torn from behind, so she lied, and he is of the truth. So when his lord saw his shirt was torn, he said, Surely this is one of your devices. Surely your devices are great. 
Joseph, turn away from this and ask forgiveness for your sins. Surely you were among the sinners. Okay. 30 to 42. 30. And the woman in the city said, The wife of Alaziz is seeking to seduce her young man. Indeed, she loves him violently. Verily, we see her in plain error. So when she heard of their accusation, she sent for them and prepared a banquet for them. She gave each one of them a knife, and she said, Come out before them. Then, when they saw him, they exalted him, and cut their hands. They said, How perfect is Allah! No man is this. This is none other than the noble angel. <coughs> she said, This is he about whom you did blame me. And I did seek to seduce him, but he refused. And now if he refuses to obey my order, he shall certainly be cast into prison and will be one of those who are disgraced. He said, O my Lord, prison is dearer to me than that to which they invite me. Unless you turn away their plot from me, I will feel inclined towards them and be one of the ignorant. So his Lord answered his invocation and turned away from him their plot. Verily, he is the all-hearer and the all-knower. Then it occurred to them, after they had seen the proofs, to imprison him for a time. And there entered with him two young men in the prison. One of them said, Verily, I saw myself pressing wine. The other said, Verily, I saw myself carrying bread on my head, and birds were eating thereof. They said, Inform us of the interpretation of this. Verily, we think you are one of the... He said, No food will come to you as your provision, but I will inform you its interpretation before it comes. This is of that which my Lord has taught me. Verily, I have abandoned the religion of a people that believe not in Allah and are disbelievers in the hereafter. And I have followed the religion of my fathers, Ibrahim, Ishak, and Yaqub. And never could we attribute our partners whatsoever, any partners, I'm sorry. Never could we attribute any partners whatsoever to Allah. This is from the grace of Allah to us and to mankind. But most men think not. O oh, two companions of the prison are many different lords. Better or Allah, the one, the irresistible. You do not worship besides him, but only names which you have named, you and your fathers, for which Allah has sent down no authority. The command is for none but Allah. He has commanded that you worship none but him. That is the straight religion, but most men do not know. O oh, two companions of the prison, as for one of you, he will pour out wine for his Lord to drink. And as for the other, he will be crucified, and birds will eat from his head. Thus is the case, judge, concerning which you both did inquire. And he said to the one whom he knew to be saved, Mention me to your Lord. But Shaitan made him forget to mention it to his Lord, to forget the remembrance of his Lord, as to ask for his help instead of others. So, stayed in prison a few years. Thirty. And the woman, women of the city said, the woman of Al-Aziz has sought to seduce her young man. He has infatuated her with love. Surely we see her an obvious error. 
So, when she heard of their descent, deceit, she sent for them and prepared a banquet for them, and gave each one of them a sicken, B, footnote, knife, non-Arabic word, Aramaic, Syriac, origin. Wait, 31, deceit? Okay. Accusation in one translation, deceit in the other. And see. And she said, Joseph, come out to them. So when they saw him, they were amazed at him, and cut their hands and said, Allah forbid, this is not a human, this is but a generous angel. She said, This is he about whom you blamed me, and indeed I sought to seduce him. So he refused. But if he does not do what I command him, he surely will be imprisoned and be of the disgraced. He said, My lord, the prison is more lovable, loved by me than that which they call me to. And if you do not turn away their devices from me, I will lean toward them, and I will become of the foolish. So his lord answered him. So he took away their devices from him. Surely he is the hearing and the, the knowing. Then it occurred to them, after they saw the signs, to imprison him for a time, and entered into the prison with him two young men. One of them said, Surely I saw myself pressing wine. And the other said, Surely I saw myself carrying cubes. Uh, footnote C, bread, non-Arabic word, Ethiopian origin, above my head. The birds eat from it. Inform us of its interpretation. Surely we see that you are of the doers of good. He said, you will not be provided with food, but I will inform you of its interpretation before it will come to you. This is a part of that which my Lord has taught me. Surely I have left the religion of people who do not believe in Allah, and in the hereafter, they are infidels. And I will follow the religion of my fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And it was not for us to partner with Allah anything. This is a favor from Allah on us and on the people, but most people do not give thanks. O oh, my two companions of the prison, let's see, are disunited lords better or Allah the one, the dominant? You do not serve other than him, except names you have named them. You and your fathers, Allah has sent down with them, has not sent down with them any more authority. That the judgment of Allah, that, that the judgment but to Allah, let's see, orders to serve no one but him. This is the right religion, but most people do not know. O oh, my two companions of the prison, as for one of you, he will give a drink of wine to his Lord, but as to the other, he will be crucified, so the birds will eat from his head. This affair is decreed concerning in which you were consulting me. And he said to the one whom he thought would be delivered, Remember me to your Lord. So Satan caused him to forget the remembrance of his Lord. So he abided some years in prison. Okay, I've read this before. This is my third time reading the Quran. I'm still shocked at it accusing Joseph of ever having not worshipped the true and living God and being an idol worshipper. I'm sure he wasn't. I'm sure he always was worshipping the true and living God. Forty-three to the end. And the king said, Verily, I saw seven fat cows, whom seven lean ones were devouring, and seven green ears of corn, and others dry. O oh, notables, explain to me my dream, if it be that you can interpret dreams. They said, Mixed up false dreams, and we are not skilled in the interpretation of dreams. 
Then the man who was released, now at length, remembered and said, I will tell you its interpretation, so send me forth. O oh, Yusuf, the man of truth, explain to us of seven fat cows whom seven lean ones were devouring, and of seven green ears of corn, and seven others dry, that I may return to the people, and that they may know. Uh, no, uh, let's see, said, for seven consecutive years, that is not what happened. For seven consecutive years you shall sow as usual, and that which you reap you shall leave it in the ears, except a little of it which you may eat. Then will come after that seven hard years, which will devour what you have laid by in advance of them, except a little of that which you have guarded. Then thereafter will come a year in which people will have abundant rain, and in which they will press. They will press. And the king said, Bring him to me. But when the messenger came to him, said, Return to your lord and ask him, What happened to the women who cut their hands? Surely my lord is well aware of their plot. Said, what was your affair when you did seek to seduce Yusuf? The woman said, Allah forbid, no evil know we against him. The wife of Al-Aziz said, Now the truth is manifest. It was I who sought to seduce him, and he is surely of the truthful. In order that he may know that I betrayed him not in absence, and verily Allah guides not the plot, of the betrayers. And I free not myself from the blame. Verily, the self is inclined to evil, except when my Lord bestows his mercy. Verily, my Lord is oft forgiving, most merciful. Oh, wait. And the king said, Bring him to me, that I may attach him to my person. Then when he spoke to him, he said, Verily, this day you are with us, high in rank and fully trusted. And he said, Set me over the storehouses of the land, I will indeed guard them with full knowledge. Thus we did give him full authority to Yusuf in the land. Let's see, thus we give full authority. Thus did we give full authority. <clears throat> to take possession therein when or where he likes. We bestow of our mercy on him, whom we will, and we make not to be lost the reward. And verily, the reward of the hereafter is better for those who believe and used to fear Allah and keep their duty to Him. <coughs> All right, 43. And the king said, Surely I see seven fat cows consumed by seven lean cows and seven green heads of grain, and others dry. O oh, you the leaders, consult with me of my dream. If you were interpreters of dreams, they said, confuse dream, and we do not know the interpretation of dreams. And the one who was delivered of them, and remembered after a while, said, I will inform you its interpretation, so send me. Joseph, O oh, the truthful, consult with us for... Thus of the seven fat cows, which the seven lean consumed, and of the seven green heads of grain, and others dried, perhaps I may return to the people, perhaps they may know. 
He said, you will sow seven years continually. So whatsoever you, Hasada, footnote A, reap non-Arabic word of Aramaic origin. So leave in its heads of grain, except a little of what you eat. Then after that will come seven hard years, will consume what you have stored for them, except a little of what you have stored. Then will come after this a year in which people will have rain, and in it they will press. And the king said, Bring him to me. So when the messenger came to him, he said, Return to your lord. So ask him what the women meant who cut their hands. Surely my lord knows well their devices. He said, What was your purpose when you sought to seduce Joseph? They said, Allah forbid, we do not know any evil of him. The women of Al-Aziz said, Now the truth, hashas, be a word without meaning. I sought to seduce him, and he is surely of the truthful, that he might know that I have not cheated him in secret, and surely Allah does not guide the device of the betrayers. And I do not declare myself innocent. Surely the self commands with the evil, except for those on whom my Lord has mercy. Surely my Lord is forgiving, merciful. And the king said, Bring him to me, I will take him for myself. So when he had spoken with him, he said, Surely, today you are with us in a prominent position, secure. He said, Set me over the treasures of the land. Surely I am a keeper, knowledgeable. And likewise, we established for Joseph in the land that, let's see, that he may choose it, uh, choose from it, whatever he wills. We give our mercy. Let's see, we give our mercy to whom we will, and we do not waste the wages of the doers of good. And the wages of the hereafter is better to those who believed and were fearers. Okay, nine twenty. Still got plenty of time. 58 to 67. <clears throat> 58. And Yusuf's brethren came, and they entered in unto him. And he recognized them, but they recognized him not. And when he had furnished them with their provisions, he said, Bring me a brother of yours from your father. See you not that I give full measure, and I am the best of hosts? But if you bring him not to me, there shall be no measure for you with me, nor shall you come near me. They said, We shall try to get permission from his father, and verily we shall do it. And told his servants to put their money into their bags, so that they might know it when they go back to their people in order they might come again. So when they returned to their father, they said, O oh, our father, no more measure of grain shall we get. So send our brother with us, and we shall get our measure, and truly we will guard him. He said, Can I entrust him to you, ex except as I entrusted your brother to you aforetime? But Allah is the best to guard. He is the most merciful of those who show mercy. And when they opened their bags, they found their money had been returned to them. They said, O oh, our father, what can we desire? This our money has been returned to us, so we shall get food for our family, and we shall guard our brother and add one more measure of a camel's load. This quantity is easy. He said, I will not send him with you until you swear a solemn oath to me in Allah's name that you will bring him back to me unless you are yourselves surrounded. And when they had sworn their solemn oath, he said, Allah is the witness to what we have said. And he said, O oh my sons, do not enter by one gate, but enter by different gates. 
and I cannot avail against Allah at all. Verily, the decision rests only with Allah. In Him I put my trust, and let all those who trust put their trust in Him. Let's see. 58. And Joseph's brothers came, so they entered to him. So he knew them, and they were unaware of him. And when he had provided them with their provision, he said, Bring me a brother of you from your father. Do you not see that I fill the measure, and I am the best of hosts? So if you do not bring him to me, so no measure will there be for you from me, nor will you come near me. They said, We will persuade his father of him, and we will surely do that. And he said to his young men, Put their merchandise into their bags. Perhaps they may know it when they return to their family. Perhaps they will come back. So when they returned to their father, they said, O oh, our father, we have been denied our measure. So send our brother with us. And we will have our measure, and surely we will be keepers to him. He said, Will I entrust you with him, except as I entrusted you before with your brother? So Allah is the best keeper, and he is the most merciful of the merciful. And when they opened their bags, they found the merchandise, their merchandise had been returned to them. They said, O oh, our father, we did not desire that our merchandise would be returned to us. We will bring food to our families, and we will keep our brother, and will increase uh, ba'ir, a camel, non-Arabic word of Syriac origin, measure. This is an easy measure. He said, I will not send him with you until you bring to me a firm oath from Allah that you will return him back to me unless you are constrained. So when they brought him their pledge, he said, Allah is the guardian above what we say. And he said, O oh my sons, do not enter by one door and enter by different doors. And yet I cannot profit you against anything decreed by Allah, for the judgment of Allah alone. On him I depend, and on him, so let the depender depend. Alright, still got about 20 minutes. Let's Get more than uh, 83, 68 to 83. Yeah, 68. And when they entered, according to their father's advice, it did not avail of them in the least against Allah. It was but a need of Jacob's inner self which he discharged. And verily, he was endowed with knowledge because we had taught him, but most men know not. And when they went in before Yusuf, he took his brother to himself, and said, Verily, I am your brother, so grieve not for what they used to do. So when he had furnished them forth with their provision, he put the bowl in his brother's bag. Then the crier cried. O oh, you, the caravan, surely you are thieves. They, turning towards them, said, What is it that you have lost? They said, We have lost the bowl of the king, and for him who produces it is a camel load, and I will be bound by it. They said, By Allah, indeed, you know that we came not to make mischief in the land, and we are no thieves. Then said, Let's see, they said, What then shall be the penalty of him if you are liars. They said his penalty should be that he in whose bag it is found should be held for the punishment. Thus we punish the. So he began in their bags before the bag of his brother. Then he brought it out of his brother's bag. Thus did we plan for Yusuf. He could not take his brother by the law of the king, except that Allah willed it. 
We raise to degrees whom we will, but over all those endowed with knowledge is the all-knowing. They said, If he steals, there was a brother of his who did steal before him. But these things did Yusuf keep in himself, revealing not the secrets to them. He said, You are in worst case, and Allah is the best knower of that which you describe. They said, O ruler of the land, verily, he has an old father. So take one of us in his place. Indeed, we think that you are one of the... He said, Allah forbid that we should take anyone but him whom we found our property, with whom we found our property. Indeed, we should be. So when they despaired of him, they held a conference in private. The eldest among them said, Know you not that our father did take and know from Allah from you in Allah's name, and before this you did fail in your duty with Yusuf. Therefore I will not leave this land until my father permits me, or Allah decides my case, and he is the best of the judges. Return to your father and say, O oh, our father, verily, your son has stolen, and we testify not except according to what we know, and we could not know the unseen. And ask of the town where we have been, and the caravan in which we returned, and indeed we are telling the truth. He said, Nay, but our own selves have beguiled you into something, so patience is most fitting. May be Allah will bring them all to me. Truly he, only he is all-knowing, all-wise. Let's see, 68. And when they entered as their father had commanded them, it was not averted from them anything against Allah, but it only served to satisfy a need in the soul of Jacob. And surely he was possessed of knowledge. Um, we had taught him, but most people do not know. And when they entered into Joseph, unto Joseph, he took his brother to him. He said, Surely I am your brother, so do not grieve for what they were doing. So when they had provided them with their supplies, he placed his drinking vessel in his brother's pack. Then they call or called, O travelers, surely you are thieves. They said, and they turned back to them. What did you miss? They said, We miss the king's suwa. Footnote A. Drinking cup. Non-Arabic word of Ethiopian origin. The same word as from the story of Joseph, Joseph in the Ethiopian Bible. And to him who will restore a camel's load, I guarantee it. They said, By Allah, indeed, you know we do not come to vandalize in the land. And we were not thieves. They said, So what is the penalty if you were liars? They said, His penalty for the one in whose pack you find it. So he is the penalty. Likewise, we reward the unjust. So he began with their bags before his brother's bag. Then he drew it out of his brother's bag. Likewise, we schemed for Joseph that he was not to take his brother into the judgment of the king, except if Allah wills. We raise degrees of whom we will, and approve everyone with knowledge, more knowledgeable. They said, if he has stolen so, so indeed. His brother has stolen before. So Joseph kept it secret in his soul, and did not disclose it to them. He said, You are in an evil position, and Allah knows what you describe. They said, O oh, you the dear, surely we, surely he has a very aged father. So take one of us instead of him. Surely we see that you are of the doers of good. He said, Allah's refuge, that we should take anyone but him, with whom our property was found. For then we should act unjustly. So when they had lost hope of him, they went and spoke privately. The oldest of them said, Did you not know that our father indeed has taken a firm oath from you before Allah? And 
how formerly you failed in your duty in regard to Joseph, so I will depart the land until my father gives me permission. Or may Allah judge me, and he is the best of the judges. Return to your father, so say, O our father, surely your son has stolen. We bear witness only of what we know, and we do not see, and we were not a keeper of the unseen. See, and ask the village which we were in, and of the caravan with which we had arrived, surely we are truthful. He said, Yet you have arranged all this affair among yourselves, so patience is beautiful. Perhaps Allah will bring all of them to me. Surely he is the knowing, the wise. I've got 14 minutes on this memory card now. I've got that, that, that. All right, I'm, I'm going to stop it here so I'm not rushing myself because then I'll stutter more. Um, thank you for watching. You have a good day.